Health Talk, brought to you by Rapids Regional Medical Center. Though it may seem like eating comes naturally, coordinated sucking, swallowing, and breathing is a reflex that develops over time. Well, feeding is a big deal in the NICU because it is an emerging skill. Many of our infants are born before they're functionally able to nipple, which is between 31 and 34 weeks of gestational age. There are several components to eating, such as suck, swallowing, and breathing, and we need to be able to coordinate those skills functionally for a safe feeding. Studies have shown that premature babies often encounter early feeding difficulties as they transition from tube feeding in a NICU environment to oral feeding. We want to have our caregivers and our parents all on board with reading the infant's cues and being able to know when the baby says that they're ready and when they're not ready and when they're stressed. And so we try to teach these skills from our caregivers to our parents. That's why Rapids Women's and Children's Hospital now offers cue-based feeding for NICU babies. As far as occupational and speech therapy, which is involved with the infant's care, we are always looking for a positive, safe, pleasurable feeding experience every time the infant is allowed to eat by mouth, whether that be breast or bottle. By focusing on the baby's cues, feeding will become a positive experience, one that will mature as the baby matures. Those feeding issues that may have followed other premature babies can now be avoided. Our key is probably quality over quantity, and we like to think in the therapy world, practice makes permanent. So we want to have positive events every time. That's how we protect the brain. That's how we make positive outcomes later in life. For more information about NICU services at Rapids Regional Medical Center, visit rapidsregional.com.